Albie, the Australian Cattle Dog. Written and illustrated by Bonnie Brown. Today was Albie's first day on the farm and he had lots of jobs to do. The farmer said he had to help the other dogs, but everything was so scary and new. At every turn, Albie found something big and loud, and when he wanted to hide, the farmer said he wasn't allowed. He tried his best to keep up with the other dogs, but he was too scared to jump over the chopped down tree logs. Albie followed the farmer into the stables. He was cleaning out the stalls for the next day, when all of a sudden, a horse said a big, and Albie ran and hid in a pile of hay. What are you doing in there, silly Albie? You're supposed to be helping me keep the horses at bay, said the farmer. When the farmer was fetching the eggs from the chicken coop, Albie yelped when the rooster swooped. Henny Penny and her baby chicks came rushing out to see the commotion. Poor Albie's eyes were filled with emotion. You need not to worry, said Henny Penny. You'll be used to that pesky rooster in a quick little hurry, she assured him. The farmer started the quad bike with a growl and a pop. Albie shrieked and wished it would stop. Diesel and Boots chased the bike through the paddock. But Albie stayed back. He watched in a panic. He met a young goat named Billy the Kid who kicked and jumped and bucked and flipped. He was brave and fun, jumping from really tall stuff. Albie wished he could be just as tough. Albie asked Billy the Kid, why aren't you scared? Billy the Kid said, I just think of the fun instead. Albie watched while Billy laughed and played, but Albie still couldn't understand why Billy wasn't afraid. While the farmer was sitting and milking a cow, it kicked over the bucket and made Albie howl. The pigs were next. The farmer grabbed the feed. The pigs got excited and moved at great speed. This caused a ruckus and a lot of strange sounds. Albie jumped and ran behind the hay bale rounds. The turkeys gobbled and chuckled in the pen. When Albie got too close, one pecked him through the fence and then again. Gobble, 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 gobble. With a cry and a yip, Albie ran for cover. The farmer let him rest. He needed to recover. The next job was to round up the sheep. Diesel and Boots ran with a bound and a leap. But the sheep were too big and too loud and too fast. And poor little Albie just couldn't get past. He tried and he tried, but at every turn, a big woolly sheep would cause much concern. Albie was worried the sheep would get out because he wasn't quick enough. This filled him with doubt. With such a big day, Albie felt defeated. He walked back to the farmhouse, sat down and retreated. With his tail between his legs and his head on the ground, he almost didn't hear Diesel Boots and the farmer come around. The farmer scooped him up with the other dogs in tow and he said, Come on, Albie, just one job to go. The farmer filled up their bowls with dinner and treats and the three of them enjoyed all types of meats before coming together and laying by the fire, for now it was bedtime.
time to retire. With a long day gone and another to go, the farmer said, you did a good job, I want you to know. With a pat on the head and a flick of the light, the farmer went to bed and said, good night. Alby thought of the day that he'd had and decided that it really wasn't that bad. Even though he was scared, he was very prepared to start again tomorrow, if just for the yummy dinner and the warm bed. The end.